Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my spring and summer maternity friendly capsule wardrobe. So in this video I'm going to be walking you through the process of how I create a capsule wardrobe. I'll do a little bit of closet decluttering and then I'll actually show you a tour of my finished capsule wardrobe and do a little bit of a try on for you to see some of the pieces and how I put them together. So I'm just going to come right out and say I am not an expert on capsule wardrobes. I actually only started trying them for myself this past year so I'm coming from that still sort of beginner perspective but sharing some of the things I've been learning that have helped me to start up my capsule wardrobes. So there are a number of considerations that I keep in mind when I'm making a capsule wardrobe. The first is the season. Where we are here in Canada, we have four distinct seasons. So I can't really just have a spring, summer, fall, winter capsule wardrobe and swap them out. Right now in the springtime, we could wake up in the morning and it is below freezing. And by mid afternoon, we are wearing just a t-shirt outside. You'll see this time of year, I'm taking out a lot of my heavier sweaters. I'm opting for more lighter long sleeve shirts or t-shirts and sweaters that can be layered to accommodate for those weather changes throughout the day. I've been referring to this as my spring summer capsule wardrobe because a lot of these pieces will stay the same for like those hot summer days but we're not yet at the point where um, shorts and dresses are very realistic on a daily basis so you'll see I don't have a lot of that kind of thing in my wardrobe right now and so those are the types of things that I'll be swapping whenever the hot summer days come. So when I'm referring to season as a consideration when creating my capsule wardrobe, I'm not just talking about the weather outside, I'm also talking about my season of life. Right now I am towards the end of my second trimester in my pregnancy and so I've got a bit of a bump to accommodate. So that's definitely something that I'm also considering when I'm making my wardrobe. There are a fair number of my clothing pieces that don't fit me right now so that's something that I'm also considering when I'm deciding what stays in my closet because there's no point in having something in my closet it that doesn't even fit me. So the next thing that I consider after the season is the style of clothing that I want to have in my capsule wardrobe. This is going to be different for everyone whether you work outside the home, whether you have young kids at home, um, if you are someone who likes to get dressed up a lot, if you like to be more comfortable, it's just going to be different for everyone. For me in my lifestyle right now I have a young toddler, I am home every day and I'm pregnant so those things considered, comfort is very important to me and wearing clothes that are practical for things like playing outside or cleaning up messes or, you know, sitting down on the carpet and playing with my daughter. So comfort is really important. That being said, most of my first trimester I was wearing leggings or sweatpants with a comfy sweater or t-shirt, which is totally fine and very comfortable. But by the time um, my bump started to grow a lot more, I was really feeling frumpy and like I wanted to you know, get dressed up a little bit, look a little bit nicer so that I would feel a little bit better about how my body is changing. So because of that, it was really important to me to make it a priority that my spring capsule wardrobe include pants other than leggings. So I got some maternity jeans that fit me really well, that I feel good in, and I have some tops that are still comfortable, but a little bit more dressed up than a crew neck sweater or a baggy t-shirt. All right, and the last big factor that I take into consideration when putting together my capsule wardrobe is a color scheme. Now, I didn't do this really specifically the first couple of capsule wardrobes that I made, but I did make more of an effort this season because I knew I'd be doing a lot more layering with like t-shirts and sweaters. Having a color scheme really helps to mix and match pieces and create more outfits from fewer pieces. So that's kind of the beauty of having a color scheme in a capsule wardrobe is that even though you have a smaller number of pieces in your wardrobe, you have a lot more options to work with. So admittedly, I found it a little bit easier making a color scheme with this capsule wardrobe because I did buy some new pieces to accommodate um, this stage of pregnancy in this season. Now obviously that's not practical or realistic that every time you make a capsule wardrobe you go buy new stuff, but what I would suggest is look at what you have and see if you are tending towards certain colors anyways, and then if you see some gaps or if there's a color in season that you want to add in, then that would be where you'd fill in the gaps with a little bit of shopping. That's just my strategy, but I mean, do whatever works for you, whatever your shopping or spending habits are, that's none of my business. So what I did first was looked at my spring and summer clothes that do fit me right now and that I can be using in the season of life. And I looked at some of the trends of colors that I had. I tend towards a lot of neutrals anyways, which is helpful. And then I did know I wanted a few pops of color and the colors that I had were more on like the pinky colors and some like teal or like sage green colors. So that was what I kind of focused on. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the beginning state of my wardrobe right now. Um, like I said, I did recently do a huge declutter of my clothing and so 
Um, it's not as terrible as it was for sure. I'm not usually someone who enjoys taking everything out onto the bed and holding up one by one and figuring out each piece that way. But because I've already done like the emotional side of it, I've already purged out what I don't want. Um, I'm not really gonna be going through and deciding if something sparks joy. It's just deciding, okay, does this go back in the closet or do I pack it away? All right, let's get started on the closet and I'll just kind of keep walking you through my process as I go. doing today after taking everything out of my closet is picking out the pieces that I definitely want to keep and incorporate into my capsule wardrobe. So these are some of my essential pieces, things I really love and wear often. As I'm putting things back in, I'm trying to loosely sort everything by type of clothing just so I can clearly see how much of each category I'm working with and making sure that the amount of each type of clothing I'm keeping makes sense. The last step, of course, is to try things on that are in my maybe pile just to see what fits, if I'm happy with how I look in them, and whether or not they fit into the grand scheme of my wardrobe plan. a little while later I just thought I'd quickly show you what we got done today okay this is the top of the closet right now I did take out this pile of stuff which I'm keeping all of it I think I'll do a double check um, but I'm gonna put it into seasonal bin it just doesn't fit right now or it doesn't fit the season like weather wise I also have this pile down here I bought a bunch of stuff um, and kind of did a little at home shopping spree and this is just stuff that I'm gonna return either didn't fit or I just didn't like the style of. And then lastly, I've got these two bins here. This one is like pajamas or sleepwear. And then that one is my leggings and tank tops. I could probably cut this down a little bit. Um, I just don't feel like trying stuff on right now. So I might do that. Um, but I mean, if not, it's like all sleepwear and loungewear, which I wear a lot anyways. I got down to three leggings because I put my Lululemons away. These are all maternity ones now. Tank tops are like a lot of dark ones, so maybe I could use a lighter one. I'll see when I'm trying things on if I have like a gap in there, but these two are maternity. These ones are maternity and nursing, so that's why you see like different, that looks black, but it's navy. That's why you see so many like of the same color, but uh, they'll serve different purposes. I think most people doing capsule wardrobes don't count sleepwear or like workout gear, that sort of thing in their like numbers of how much clothing they have. To be honest, I'm not counting really anyways because that's not like I don't have a number goal. My goal is just that I only have pieces in here that I actually wear and really love and make me feel good and that I don't have a bunch of like hangers of clothes that I'm not grabbing and only wearing the same like five things. I think I heard somewhere that most people only wear like a fifth of the clothes that they have and for me that tends to be true. I go to like the same outfits all the time. That's what I kind of love about having a more minimal wardrobe now. Um, I know I tend to grab the, all the same pieces and so why would I keep those extra pieces in there if I'm not wearing them in that season. So yeah, my plan for tomorrow is to pick the camera back up. I'll take you on a tour of my wardrobe, what I've picked, and how I do like mixing and matching and stuff, and I'll do a little bit of a try on, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I'm back today. I'm gonna take you on a little tour of my capsule wardrobe. I'll do a bit of a try on so you can see some of the combinations, and I'll just keep walking you through my thought process on why I kept each of these pieces in my wardrobe. Okay, so first off, I do kind of organize my clothes by category, just loosely, um, but I do have pants first, t-shirts and tank tops, and then as you move forward, I kind of have more long sleeves into the sweater category. So starting with pants, I have three different maternity jeans that are just different washes. Um, one of them, I think, is in the laundry right now, um, but I have this light wash one that has the full band. Then this dark wash pair has just the side panels for uh, maternity fit. Um, and then the other pair is another full band one. So a um, couple of options of colors and then different options of like what type of pant I want to be wearing. 
some shirts I have are not really well suited for the full band up the top. Um, like if I'm wearing a white shirt or something, it looks kind of awkward. But um, this way I have some options. And then I mentioned yesterday my other pants are just my three pairs of maternity leggings. I've got two tank tops. I've got this rust color. This one's not maternity. Um, I just got it from Old Navy, but I got it fitted long so that it would fit over my bump. So that's a great tip I got from someone um, just to make sure that it's still going to fit me long term. And then the other tank top I have is maternity and it's just this gray one that I'm wearing underneath. So these tops are great for layering with some of the other pieces that I will show you. Um, good for these spring days where it starts out kind of cool and warms up so I can kind of take off a layer or put one on as needed. I did also keep those other nursing and maternity tank tops that I showed you kind of in my more like casual loungewear bin. And then for t-shirts I've got these seven t-shirts here. These are great for layering or just on a warmer day. You can see I have different color options which is great for mixing things up a little bit and um, they all fit in my color scheme. These are all kind of a mix of maternity, non-maternity. Like I said, sometimes I just buy them longer fitting or just a bigger size in general and um, that has worked well with me so far. There are a couple in here that I don't think will last me right through my third trimester um, so I might have to kind of sub out a few of those but so far they're all long enough and fitting okay. Next I've got three tops that are basically just long sleeve t-shirts. They're very light and um, kind of loose fitting. So I've got this striped one, just a plain navy one, and then this pink striped one. Um, so these are great just like on their own or again I could layer it if it was a cooler day. And then I've got these three tops which I kind of consider my like dressier tops, just the styles that they are. So this one is uh, maternity it cinches at the waist. This one is one of my great options for layering with different t-shirts or um, the tank tops that I showed you. And then I love this one. It's like super loose fitting. It's not maternity and just looks nice. You can pair it with leggings or jeans or whatever. This one is kind of one of my in-between like t-shirt sweater um, because it is a sweater and it, it is a little bit thicker but it's got short sleeves which I could layer with one of my um, just like long sleeve t-shirts or something I'm sure. This is also not maternity, but it fits my bump really well. It's nice to wear with leggings. It's pretty comfy. I've got these five, which are like more in the sweater category, but they're very light sweaters, so they're perfect for this time of year. I've got this white one. Again, not maternity, but fits my bump perfectly. You would think it was. This one, I think you guys saw me wear it yesterday. Also not maternity, but fits really nice and loose. I love that that's the style these days because I really didn't want to be wearing maternity clothes. Um, once I hit second trimester, I was kind of like, mm, no, I just want to wear a normal, nice clothes. Um, and so it's been nice to be able to like just shop at regular stores and just size up if needed. This was a really handy find. It's um, great for layering over the t-shirts and tank tops, and I have a couple different options for that. The way it fits, it hits right above the bump, so that's really nice. Um, just a lot of options with this one. Another sweater, not maternity, um, but fits so far. This one is a little bit uh, more fitted than some of the other ones so I don't know if that'll last me quite into the summer but so far so good. I have this cardigan here um, which is nice to layer with some of the t-shirts and tank top. I'm realizing I'm missing one of my cardigans. It's in the wash but it's like this pinky color. It's more of like a casual sweater um, cardigan whereas this one is a little bit could be dressed up I think. And then I got a few sweater options in here. This one is old navy not maternity in my regular size and it just still fits me perfectly I guess because it's a longer tunic sweater. This is one of my just like comfy loungewear sweaters basically um, but I really like how it still fits me. I think it might fit me right to the end of my pregnancy. This one on the other hand I should probably tuck away. It's getting a little bit short but again it's one that I just kind of wear for loungewear but I threw it into the top section of my closet anyways but it's just a plain crew neck in kind of like a purpley color. This one is super soft, super baggy, comfy, it fits um, really comfortably over my bump, so that's great for like colder mornings. And then I have these two um, maternity sweaters which are kind of a lighter material so they're actually great for this time of year. Um, I got them a while back in the last pregnancy I think and I just liked it so I got both colors. <laughs> so that's basically my wardrobe. Um, oh, I forgot to show you this one. I'm wearing this. <laughs> this is just another sweater option. Again, it's good for layering over a tank top. Today was like a colder morning but it's getting up to 20 degrees this afternoon so I know I'll shed this layer at some point. Again this one's not maternity but this one I sized up um, a size or two just to make sure it would fit over my bum. So a couple of things I'm noticing as I was going through this morning, I do actually have fewer pieces for layering and like combining different outfits than 
um, I have in past capsule wardrobes and I think that most people have in capsule wardrobes but I think part of the reason for that is that another priority for me is um, that my clothing be really simple right now so it's like I throw on a pair of pants I throw on a top we're good to go um, rather than doing a lot of the combining of different outfits I do have some options for that if I do feel a little bit more creative but most days right now I'm just all about quick convenient and then knowing that like I can just grab two things out and have like a full outfit so that's why I have a lot of the like just sweaters and different options for that rather than a lot of different cardigans or like different types of tops for layering looking at all my t-shirts one thought that I have is that I wouldn't mind having like one more lighter neutral cardigan the cardigans that I have are both colors and so it's hard to layer those with a couple of the t-shirts that I have so that's like one gap that I see not crucial that I get one but it might be something that I'll keep an eye out for I'm pretty picky about cardigans so not likely something that I'm gonna just like jump on right away I know I mentioned I didn't have like a number goal for my capsule wardrobe and that's still true I didn't really care what number I came up with in the end but I did just count through, for those of you who are curious, I counted all of my, basically my daily wear other than like my sleep wear. I counted 35, 33 or 35, I can't remember. <laughs> we'll go with 35. I counted 35 pieces that are in my kind of like everyday wear that I'm like picking from for this capsule wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed checking out my capsule wardrobe for this season. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and that lets me know that you enjoy this type of video and I can keep making them each season. Of course, if you haven't already done so, I'd also love it if you'd subscribe and stick around here on my channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in the next video.